שלום, מה שלומכם? I hope all of you are בסדר. So for today's question, let us ask how come the Lord said, let us make man in our image. We'll need to open Genesis 1.26 and we'll read later 27 as well. But let us start here. ויאמר אלוהים, נעשה אדם בצלמנו, כדמותנו. And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. As you all know, this portion creates lots of difficulties. One central root that appears here and also in the next verse is the root of the word בצלמנו, which is the root צדי למד מם. Let us look what does it mean. So צלם can mean drawing, shadow, statue, image, and model. For this difficult question, we may want to consult Rashi and maybe others. Let's see what Rashi has to say. Rashi is uh, emphasizing the fact that the Lord is consulting the angels. And also the fact that the Lord is treating uh, himself or altogether treating the humility. Uh, and other commentators are really supporting this idea. Ramban is looking at the word Tselem. And he's saying that we're talking about some liking, an image that looks alike but not identical to the Lord. Let us look at the next portion so we'll see how many times this root is repeated and it will make us a little bit more clear about the image or shadow or liking. So we are in Genesis 1.27. Vaivra Elohim et ha'adam. בצלמו, בצלם אלוהים ברא אותו, זכר ונקבה ברא אותם. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Rashi keeps on emphasizing the fact that the Lord is consulting the angels. And also, at the end, he is bringing this portion and he's saying, and God created Vaivra. It does not say, and they created Vaivreu. Other commentators are emphasizing the fact that the use of plural language is a majestical use. So the central approach is, is how do we want to regard the word Tselem? You see one here and another one here. So what do you think? I'd love to hear your opinions about it. And uh, as always, if you like it, just say it. And if you don't like it, say it as well. אז אני מחכה לכם.